Welcome back to Good Day This Morning, and congratulations here coming up to the class of 2018. We've got a graduation gift for you today, a lesson in local finance. We've got uh, Jeff Bangerter here. Uh, he's a state registered investment advisor with some tips on helping graduates take control of their finances and maybe reducing their dependence on what they call the bank of mom and dad, right? Yes, <laughs> indeed. In fact, I'll start with the bank of mom and dad. It was kind of interesting. There's a recent study that showed that 80% of parents do help their adult children in some way. And, you know, it seems like it's just a little bit here and there, yeah. but it really adds up. In fact, NerdWallet did a survey and they have a calculator that showed that the average family will, uh, mom and dad will uh, kind of forego about a quarter of a million dollars in what? retirement because wow. of the money that they give their kids. So I have Holy a, cow. I have a really, it's their calculator. I have that link to my website. It's really cool. It's worth checking that out. That is fascinating. So, right. so here that. are some tips to help achieve financial independence for uh, kids that are graduating this year, whether it's high school or college. Number one is track every dollar. Yeah, you know, budgeting doesn't have to be painful. There's uh, Mint.com has an app. There's other apps out there. And even if you like a good old-fashioned, uh, you know, paper and pencil, that's fine. But you need to track where your money's going. You need to set some budgets, some spending budgets. What do you want to do? And then really stick with it. This is a habit that will really give you a benefit for years to come in the future. If you learn budgeting, life's much more comfortable. This is true. And I would advise, if you, if you really can't figure out where your money's going, go back and look at your credit card statement. Absolutely. And that'll give you a really great idea. You'll see it. And where really? you spend your money, it's uh, How many times I go focus out to on what you're doing. Yes. Uh, number two, pay down debt. Yeah, you know, the average student loan is over $34,000. You don't want to make it worse by missing a payment and having penalties or, goodness sakes, go into a default. That would mm -hmm. be terrible, right? So make sure you set up an automatic payment plan. And I recommend the 10-year payment on the student loan. Get that knocked out in 10 years. And then the money that you were spending on the student loan, Start saving that in your own retirement plan. You'll be happy you did. Oh, you'll be thrilled. Trust me, looking back, you will. Uh, number three, give yourself a head start. What do you mean? Well, you know, the students have a benefit that us parents don't have. They have time on their hand. So if they start saving now, and, you know, as soon as they get a job where there's a 401K and they're eligible for it, they should participate because that's going to grow and, again, help them in the long run down the road. Oh, if we could all go back in time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> With what we know now, oh, right? With what we do now. And last, uh, save for emergencies. That's also great advice. And they're like, well, I'm saving for everything else. How can I put aside yeah. money for that? Well, that's kind of a smaller number, you know, whether you're 18 or 68, right? You need right. to have an emergency fund. So for the young people, just maybe 25 bucks a month, try to build it up to $1,000. Now, once you're, you know, a parent or your parents' age, right, then you should have three to six months of income saved. But, hey, just get up to that $1,000 for those unexpected emergencies. It might seem like a pain, but when you need that money, it would be great to have it there. Absolutely. Whatever, car trouble, whatever it is. Uh, always something. Always great advice. Jeff, if you want to reach Jeff at Bangor Financial Services, we've got the number there on the screen and that website if you want to find that uh, calculator about how much it costs to give kids money yeah. as adults. <laughs> Very fun. <laughs> nice to see you. Thanks. Thanks so much, guys. Back to you. Okay, still to come.